Oh, if I put him here, he'll take both and cover the top. Alright. I think I'm winning. And then I'll put this guy here. Ooh. Oh, crap. Oh, man. I still won. That, that was close, though. Hello world, welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy IX here on episode 32. Um, we've got a little bit of Lindblom destroyed to, uh, to investigate here, um, and we're going to get right into it. Um, of course, at the end of the last episode, we saw that Queen Braun had sent her uh, destructive capabilities, Eidolon and all, summon and all, to destroy the castle, the Lindblom uh, city here. Um, so we're going to... Investigate here, see what we can see. Um, I know that there's not going to be a whole lot to see here. Um, I probably could have fit it in at the end of last episode, uh, but that's okay. We'll fit it in here at the beginning of this one. Um, so let's take a peek around here. We've got some people we could talk to. Hmm, there's someone there. Black Mage has blinded me. What a terrible loss. Well, that's a shame. I will never see my newborn grandchild's face again. Um, and as you'll also notice, Lindblom was a place that we could do cards with a bunch of people, but now it doesn't appear that we can do that anymore. I thought that... Let's see... Okay, we've got some treasure chests in here, that's cool. Oh, we can play cards with someone. Maybe we'll play cards with him in a sec. We haven't played cards in a long time, and we, I think we've gotten some interesting new cards, so... I think... There's something outside I want to see if I can grab first before, though. Maybe. Maybe not. Ah! There we go, Lindblom card. I thought that might come in handy. Alright, so let's take a peek at our cards real quick. Alright, that was weird. My audio was acting funny for a sec. Alright, so there's Lindblom. It has almost no arrows, so it might not be that us usable. Then we've got some Mithril Sword cards. Oh wow, that guy, that's got a ton of arrows. So we want to probably use at least this one in our next match. No arrows, really? What is, what purpose does that even serve? I guess if there's a battle against it, then it might still be a strong card, maybe? Maybe. 2P10. I don't even understand what those mean. I should really look up what those mean. But this is 1P0s. This is 0P59. Some of the first cards in the game we got were 0P00. 0P00, 0P00. So, the fact that this one's at 2P10 means it might actually be pretty good. So, I'll, I'll throw that into our cards next round. 2P01, and it does have arrows. 1M01. Interesting. 1P10. 1P10. I gotta be careful what cards I do take, because if I do wind up losing, I have to lose a card. 1M02. 1M01. 1M11. Alright, let's try this. Let's, let's try this. I just saved not too long ago. If I'm really, really unhappy with the results, I might just reload. Uh, but I don't think I will be. Oh, whoops. I meant to hit square. Yes, let's play a game. Alright, I hope you're a good player. Oh, go. Oh, jeez. Alright. So we know that I want to use this one. I want to use this one. I should probably use that one. It's got a 2P also. 1M01. I don't, I don't even used one that has an M. 1P10. These are both 1P10. But that, this one has way more arrows use that one. I think I need two more cards, right? 0P00, 0M0, 2P01. It just feels like I should use that, but I, I'm, I'm nervous to use it. Do any of these have, like, an amazing amount of arrows? Nope. What about these? Nope. Alright, um, 0P00. Uh, Nerve-wracking. Oh, that's got a ton of... Alright, let's use that one. Alright. 
And anything else with a ton of arrows. And this one wasn't all that good, if I recall, right? Yeah, just two arrows. 0p59. Do I have any more of these I could use? Maybe this one. Yeah, let's do that one. Alright, let's go. Wow, look at the bottom right there. Okay. If I put this in the bottom right and it loses, it, it'll be gone. So I gotta be careful. Let me start with him. I'll put him here. Okay. Alright. I think I can take that. Yep. Okay. Let me take this guy with this. Yep. Okay. Let me take... Ah, uh, crap. How about... I put this guy here, maybe? No. If I put him... here... Oh, if I put him here, he'll take both and cover the top. Alright. I think I'm winning. And then I'll put this guy here. Ooh! Oh, crap! Oh, man, I still won. That, that was close, though. Alright. Alright, I'll take that guy. Lizard man. Nope, not rematching. Whew! Alright. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. That was nerve-wracking, but right at the end, I almost lost. That was close, man. Whew! Alright, let's keep going. Let's keep going here. Oh, okay. Alright, officer says, The industrial district is gone and the business and theater district are also in ruins. Allocate soldiers to the reconstruction. We must get the citizens' lives back on track. Yes, sir. Uncle Artania. Princess Garnett, Master Squirrels. Is glad to see you're both safe. Where's Uncle Sid? Is the regent safe? Yes, Princess. The, cla the castle was spared. Regent Sid is alive. Thank goodness. I will take you to see him. Princess Garnett is back. Uncle Sid. Garnett, I thought Braun imprisoned you. Squirrels rescued me. Thank you, Squirrels. Quack. But Freya, Steiner, and Beatrix were left behind. I... Ah, uh, the renowned General Beatrix. I don't think you have anything to worry about. I don't think so either, Dagger. We wound up in Pinnacle Rocks instead of Trino, but... You'll be... They'll be fine on their own. Quack, quack, Pinnacle? Did you ride the Gargant? How did you know? It's my job to know the, la the land surrounding my country. However, I sometimes lack foresight. Braun was after the Quack Eidolons. That much I knew. But I underestimated the power of the Eidolons. Maybe I deserve to be cursed with this body. I'm glad you surrendered. Clara resisted and perished. What should I say? What can I do? Hey, we got a live one here. Watch out, it might attack. Hey, this one's much smaller than the others. Ouch, let me go, I'm not one of them. And why are you dressed like a black mage? Of course it's Vivi. That must be. <laughs> We took an Alexandrian soldier into custody. I just said, should we turn it over to Alexandria? Uncle said, let him go. Master Vivi is not an Alexandrian soldier. It's only a disguise to deceive the enemy. I, I see. My apologies. It's only a disguise. Nice. I've acquired more information about Queen Braun. A weapons dealer named Kuja is behind the recent string of attacks. Kuja was being, has been supplying Braun with highly advanced magic weapons. Supplying my mother with weapons? Yes, the Black Mage soldiers are among these weapons. According to eyewitnesses in Trino, Kuja appeared from the northern sky on a silver dragon. That's the guy I saw in Burmesia. That he came from the north suggests that he is from the Outer Continent. The Outer Continent? There are many unexplored continents in the world. 
The Outer Continent is an unexplored continent located to the north of our Mist Continent. I believe Kuja is the only one supplying what? Braun with weapons. The man I saw at the castle must have been Kuja. He must be the one who is corrupting my mother. If we defeat Kuja, if we eliminate Kuja, you both catch on quickly. Defeat Kuja and Braun loses her weapon supply. That will be our cue for a counterattack. Challenging Braun now will only result in more casualties. So we crush the source of the, e of the evil. Yes, Kuja will find other clients, even if we defeat Braun. I make no excuses for my mother's behavior, but I shan't forgive Kuja for taking advantage of her. But first, we must rescue Steiner and the others. I'm afraid I can't spare any soldiers. They must remain to protect our citizens. Hey, Dagger, I'm telling you, they'll be fine. The best dragon knight of Burmesia, the female general of Alexandria, and Rusty? How could they lose? Besides, you have me to protect you. Then I'll look for Kuja. I want to go too. There's no place for me here. Alright, let's go kick Kuja's butt. Will you lend us the fastest airship in Lindblom? Airships can only fly where there is mist, and the mist only exists on this continent. That means you can't cross the ocean on an airship. What about the new airship that can fly without mist? It's not ready yet. Quark. Besides, it's under Braun's control. Braun gave us two conditions for our surrender. One was the surrender of the new airship. The other was to hand over Quark. the Falcon Claw. The airship I can understand, but what does she want with a piece of stone? I have no idea. Alright, we'll take a boat. That's not an option either. The harbor was also seized. Ah! What do you want us to do, swim? There is a way. There's an old excavation site near a swamp located north of the castle. Monsters not native to our continent are rumored to appear in the excavation site. The cave, which was found during excavation, is rumored to lead to another continent. Will this co cave lead us to the outer continent? Doesn't sound too reliable. Are you sure? What? I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out. Not knowing is half the fun, huh? Please protect Princess Garnett. We'll prepare the counterattack in the meantime. It's not much, but use it to prepare for your journey. Ooh, 3,000 gil. I'll, I'll wait here, squirrels. Squirrels, will you get my stuff too? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Listen, Lynn Bloom is Alexandrian territory now. You won't be able to come back for a while. Prepare yourself. Let me know when you're ready. All right, so we got to talk to this guy when we're ready. So let's go into some shops. Okay, that's apparently not a shop. That's cool. Is this a shop? It's something. Raise the price. Okay, I can't sell nothing. But I'll give you a major discount. Oh, huh. <laughs> All right. So let's see here. We need new weapons that'll boost us up. I'm gonna start at the bottom here because I hate starting part way up. Let's start at the best stuff. We've got almost 39,000. Uh, mithril armor, I imagine these will be for the other people that are not currently in our party. Mithril vests, we can get two of those. Actually, actually, can I go to the synth shop? Is there a synth shop? I was thinking about buying a new sword, but everything is so expensive here. I wonder if he'll give me a discount. Let's check out the synth shop first, if it still exists, and see if um, there are some new synthesized stuff that we can build. And if there's anything good, then... All right, cotton robe. Obviously, we can't build these because we don't have the necessary items. Exploda. We need a mage masher and a mithril dagger. We have a mithril dagger, we don't have a mage masher. And that'll boost him up. That'll boost him up to 31. That'll boost them up to 10. Or these to 16. Oh wow, there's a lot of stuff here. Okay. Um, gold choker? Linen curious. I think the main thing I probably want is his weapon, and I'll look into these. The silk robe is 16 for them, and the exploda is 31. Alright, so let's go back to the other place. 
and see what the best stuff we can get for them clothing and weapon wise is. Um, Alright, so the best thing for squirrels, weapon wise, is. 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 Alright, so. So nothing. So we do need a Mage Masher in order to synthesize that awesome weapon. So let's go ahead and pick up a Mage Masher. As um, far as weapons are concerned, we have a Lightning. Right? Yeah. It's currently equipped. We have an Ice. We don't need it anymore. We could probably sell it now. We have a Flame Staff. Stardust Staff? Is the next thing. So still the best thing for Vivi is what we have already got equipped on him. And the Stardust Staff is the best. Nope. Interesting. Stardust Rod raises her attack to 16 versus the Multina Racket raises it to 17. But the Stardust is ranked higher. <coughs> I wonder if there's better things that she can learn from the Stardust Rod. I bet you that's the case. Can I, like... Element defend. Okay, so 50% reduced shadow damage. And this has wind attack. Uh, okay. We'll leave it. We'll we'll leave it that. Um, again, to the bottom here. Mithril Vests, they raise to 12, not 16. So I can get better stuff if I equip them with the silk robes um, at the other place. So I'll give them silk robes at the other place. So let me go do that, do the synthesized stuff first. I know I'm going back and forth here, but I just want to make sure that they have the best stuff because I missed an opportunity um, when I was at our last big city with Steiner. I missed the opportunity to get him the blood sword, and that's cost me significant battles. Um, I could have, it could have been easy if I'd done this right with uh, Steiner. So I wanted to make sure that I'm doing this right now. So let me make the Exploda. Let me see what this says. Oh, it adds... Uh, trouble. Sword made by processing trouble knife. Okay. So let's make that. And the silk robes. What do I need? I need a bandana and a silk shirt for the silk robes. A scarf that raises strength. Gold choker. I might want to make some of this stuff too. Like, all right, let me take, like, make make one of those. I'll make a glass buckle, maybe. Eh, let me make a yellow scarf and see what that does. Uh, but otherwise, I need at least two bandanas. So let me go get the two bandanas. Let me equip them up real quick. Oh, it won't let me actually buy on behalf of Phoebe. That stinks. Okay, so let me see what this actually does. Auto Potion! Okay, that's a good one to have. Um, yellow Scarf... Has Bird Killer, mean Millionaire, and Steel Gill. And, but he's like 9 away from Auto Potion, so I feel like... I feel like I should leave it on him for now. And then what's... So Yellow Scarf doesn't appear like it's got any good benefits for her. Um, all right, let me go back to... Let me get two bandanas. I'll synthesize those things real quick. Buy two bandanas. All right, let me make those. I know, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, but I don't want to buy anything else at that armor and weapon shop until I'm sure that I've synthesized everything that I'm going to synthesize and, and then equip it. Um, so silk robes, I should be able to make two of them. Yep, perfect. Awesome. Um, I feel like these are going to be good for... Um, I'm just going to get them. They're 900. I'm going to get them. I feel like they're going to be good for uh, Queena if we ever see her again. Of course we're going to see her. They wouldn't like ha The game wouldn't have you build her up if 
they weren't expecting you to see her again. These I... Oh, interesting. I need the Germina, uh, the Germina's boots in order to make magician shoes. Let me see what that looks like on her. Uh, equip. Equip. Um, will it show the boots? Yeah. That actually makes her worse. So, that's interesting. Okay. Oh, but I- oh, dang. So I need her to equip the Peridot in order to be able to use Rama, her, um, her summon. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on now. That's interesting. Yeah. So the Yellow Scarf isn't good for her anyway. And if I was to change out to Yellow Scarf, yeah, then he would just learn Bird Killer, which isn't that great. Uh, level up, though. For the Fairy Earrings. I always forget about that one. Body Temp. Alert. It's got some good stuff here, actually. Yeah. So as soon as he learns Auto Potion, I need to be rem I need to remember to change him out. All right. So they're both equipped with everything synthesized possible. So let's go back over here and see if there's anything else that they can raise from, and I'll get those. Bye. Again, I'm going to start at the bottom, just because the best stuff is down here. Alright, Mithril Vest is obviously good, but we've already got him the Silk Robe, so that's not that big a deal. Mage's Hat for both of them. I guess I could give a bandana to squirrels. Mithril armlet. And I think that's it. So, let me come back in here. Equip. Optimize. Yep, that was the only thing that should have been. And then her. Optimize. Except the yellow scarf I want to replace with the Peridot. That should be everything. Yeah, look at look at all the abilities she's going to learn. Ability up, reflect, and float. Loudmouth. And that's also going to be teaching her ability up as well. So I wonder if I'll get double AP for that. That's interesting to note. I'm, I'm going to try to take note of that. Oh, and Loudmouth from that. Wow. So double AP for both of those. That's kind of crazy. I'll have to pay attention to that. All right. So let's go talk to the dude. Oh, wait, I need items, too. Wait, are there items? Was there an item shop? Does this lady sell items? Sorry, my shop got destroyed. I don't have much to sell. Okay, but she does sell items. Cool. All right. I still can't buy high potions. That's horrible. All right, so let me just stock up on a bunch of these. 40. This puts us at 80. That puts us, all right, that puts us at 80, 90, 100. Will it let me buy that many? No, it won't let me buy more than, I can only stay stocked up to 80. All right, well, stay stocked to 80 then. All right, what about these? That puts me at 30, I shouldn't need that many Phoenix Downs actually. I can't believe I have 38 Phoenix Downs. All right, let me just do a round number of 40. I shouldn't need to raise people to life that much. All right, I'll get nine of these just so I have a nice round number. I'll get one of those for a round number. These are nice round numbers. I'll get five more. Eye drops can come in handy. And this is just because I can. Oh, tents. I should probably get a few of those. All right. We still got 20 grand. Um, so, and I imagine that's going to go up. So, all right, let's talk to this guy. We're ready. Follow me. The regent is waiting on the base level. Bronze fleet arrives. Active time event. Why are they loading food instead of the valuables onto the ship? Oh, look, and there's two uh, treasure chests. So we know that at some point we'll be on this ship. I wonder if they're going to take them all back to Alexandria. 
Maybe they're going on a very long trip. Stop that chatter and keep loading the ship. Dang them, they think they can walk all over us. We gotta stall more, let's keep working. Alexandria rules this continent now. Where else can they go to conquer? What do they really want? I don't know. But you know how greedy Braun is. I wonder where we are where we are going next. I don't know of any kingdom that poses a threat to our country. I'm sure Queen Braun has a plan. There's no need for us to worry about such matters. Come now, we need your help. Some Lindblom soldiers have locked themselves up in the guest room. Oh, uh, you know what? I wonder what Braun is going to do. Squirrels, do we really have to go to the Outer Continent? Hey, what's up with you? You said you wanted to go. What if... What if something happens to you or Vivi? I might not be okay on my own. Are you worried about me? What? Well, I mean, uh... A princess needs her elite guards, you know? I'd be stranded without you guys. Are you trying to flatter me by calling me your elite guard? Sorry, I was only kidding. You'll be fine with me. What about you, Dagger? We don't know anything about the Outer Continent. I've made up my mind. I don't want my mother to commit any more atrocities. Alright then, I'll protect both you and Vivi. Thank you. Squirrels, I'm so glad you're here. Vivi, where's Uncle Sid? Um, he said, guac guac, wait here, and went away somewhere. Where could he be? Guac, I did it! I stopped a trolley between here and the Serpent's Gate. Guac guac, that'll show them not to fool around in my castle. Now go! The excavation site is like a maze, be careful not to get lost. And take this with you. It's a rag. You big dope, it's not just a rag, guac. That is a national treasure of Lindblom. That is an ancient map of the entire world. Wow, thanks! Alright, so now we know where everything is. That's exciting. Now go, before they find you. Squirrels, Vivi, please protect Princess Garnett. Okay. Uncle Sid. Quack, don't worry about me, I'm stronger than I look. Now go. They'll squeeze all the Oglop oil out of my body if we're caught. Let's go, Dagger. Oh, and another active time event. Guac guac, how infuriating. My my, they have an oglop for a regent and buffoons for soldiers. Why do they take so long to load supplies? Hmm. You two, I did not get give you permission to rest. I understand that things are moving slow, but keep in mind that the next mission is about to begin. The machine over there stopped and the trolley stopped coming. Right? Yes, it made this strange guac guac sound. I wanted to go shopping before we left the harbor. Any word from the lookout? No ma'am, nothing. This must be Regent Sid's doing. He's hiding something. Come with us, you two. Find the Regent. Yes ma'am. All right, so I think there's something right over here. There it is. Bandana, and that figures I just bought a bandana. All right, let me equip up Vivi real quick. Optimize his stuff. Ability up, loud mouth. Yeah, this is good. Oh, and he's learning Fyra from the Mage's Hat. Yes, that's good. So now he can have Fyra and Thundera, and I don't have to worry about that flame staff. 
Well, it still has sleep on it, so I still might equip it, because sleep is probably good to have. Um, but that's definitely good. Wow, so everybody's, like, learning stuff now. Well, for the most part. Sacrifice and Lucky 7. I don't even know what those do. Bug Killer. Those are skills, yeah. And that's an ability. And then she's got... Yeah, this is good. This is good. All right. So let's go ahead and save. Actually, I think... No, don't rest. Magnet. All right. All right, let's go ahead and save. So this episode was a little bit significantly longer than the last one. It's actually almost double in time. Uh, but that's alright, because the last one was pretty short, right? So uh, I am obviously going to go ahead and stop the episode here. Great stopping point. Um, I mentioned at the end of the last episode that we're about to, to meet up with someone. Um, I'm excited about that. I believe that will be, in fact, on the next episode. But until then, guys, stay squirrely. Like and subscribe to the R&D. Catch you next time.